Hey there folks, Core here with Slash Gear and Android Community. Today we are taking a look at a few brand new phones from T-Mobile. Uh, just in time here for the back to school season. This is the T-Mobile MyTouch and the MyTouch Q phones. They're made by Huawei but are being branded as just T-Mobile phones like the uh, T-Mobile Springboard tablet and a few other things. But here it is, the MyTouch and the MyTouch Q. Essentially the same phone here in almost all regards except the Q has a keyboard. Um, they're both the same price, they're both near identical except for a few things I'm going to show you so quickly I'm going to unbox them both but uh, mainly run down the specs on one and then give you a little idea of what they both look like but uh, here's the phone in the box we have the usual let's see here a little paperwork paperwork and more paperwork set that aside USB micro USB charger and the actual charger oh, that's nice it says charger so that is it, very generic in the box. These are budget friendly phones, so you can't really expect too much. And here is the actual phone. So as you can see, overall it's got a, a, a quite you know, thin design and a nice feel. So rip off that top screen protector and there you can see the actual phone. It's got a plastic design, but it kind of has a brushed aluminum look to it and then it's slightly curved. And then there you can see the actual uh, thinness of the device as we just kind of take you around it. And then on the back here is the camera and the flash and the uh, MyTouch and T-Mobile branding. So really quickly here to go over the specs, um, the phones aren't, you know, anything extremely high end, but they're going to be $49.99 with a $50 amount rebate. So it's technically $100, but only $49 out of pocket, which is a pretty good price considering what you get. Although the HTC One X on AT&T just got quite the lowered price. We have a 4 inch screen. Um, it's not HD. It is only 480 by 800. So nothing too big there. Then we have a Qualcomm 1.4 gigahertz single core processor. So it's not dual core, but it does have 1 gigs of RAM and a 5 megapixel camera like I showed you on the back with LED flash. It takes 720p video, micro SD support. And then it does have 4 gigs of uh, internal storage built into the phones. So that is not bad. Then we got uh, the usual stuff here with uh, the QWERTY keyboard over there on the other one, which I will open in a minute. So not a whole lot going on here. So as we go around, I'll show you real quick. There is a dedicated camera button on the phone. And then the power 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The volume rocker, which is probably really hard to see. And then the charging port on the bottom. And of course you can rip off the back there. Oh, and there's some Huawei branding to unveil the battery. So, really quickly, I, I did want to mention when you snap it all back together here, it's got a... I'm not really sure how to explain it. It almost feels like sandpaper. It's the only way to describe it. It's, it's not going to slide out of your hand and it kind of feels comfortable, but when you slide your fingers against it, it's almost like a... It almost feels like it's rubbing off on your fingers, if that makes any sense. But Go ahead and get it. Well, I was going to get it booted up, but it looks like it's already turned on. So you get your four capacitive buttons down below, and that is a menu button, home, back, and the My Touch Genius button. Anyone familiar with uh, T-Mobile or the My Touch? The Genius button. It's kind of like the search button on some of the older Android phones, but it brings up uh, nuance by drag and dictation. You can do all kinds of things from T-Mobile. Makes it easier. So the My Touch Q, same phone, same four-inch screen, same single-core processor, and by the way, these do run Android 2.3 gingerbread. So no ice cream sandwich here. And wow, that's actually quite heavy. But the My Touch Q, same thing in the box. These are near identical phones in every way. So once we get to this, as you can see, take off that again. Turn off the other one, maybe throw the box out of the way. And here are the two T-Mobile MyTouch and MyTouch Q. Um, the MyTouch Q is actually a tiny bit longer. Um, if you can see that, maybe they just needed a little bit thicker of a bezel down below to probably help you know, widen the, the gap to put that keyboard on there, which is kind of the star of the Q. We have a dedicated four row QWERTY keyboard. And it, snaps into place quite good so there it is same thing here 5 micro camera LED flash they have slightly changed the speaker placement and the camera but for the most part it remains the same but 
One thing that I did find kind of odd, we have the charger over here on this one, and then all the buttons are actually slightly bigger on the MyTouch Q. The volume rocker is a little bigger, like longer, maybe easier to hit. And then when you come over to the side, the button for the camera is a little bigger. And then up top, same thing, it's just slightly bigger. The colors seem about the same, same exact texture. We have essentially the exact same phones here, both for $49.99 on T-Mobile. Available here early August, I believe the 8th. So there it is, the T-Mobile MyTouch Q and the regular T-Mobile MyTouch. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for a full review as we dig into these phones a little bit more.